Well, that moment happened over a year ago because, so we pitched the movie two years ago. And at that time, Hallmark had done a couple movies in Fiji. And so originally when we pitched the movie, we pitched it as Fiji because we thought, oh, you know, they're doing movies there already. This would be an easy fit. And then Hallmark said, no, <laughs> we're not doing Fiji again. And so then we started exploring what our different options were and, and none of them really felt right. And then finally, Hawaii got thrown on the table. And as soon as they said Hawaii, I was like, that's where it's gonna be. That's where it needs to be. That's where it should be. That's where we're gonna film this. And um, luckily for us, that is what happened. And we were all geared up. We were so excited. We were pumped up. And then of course, the pandemic hit and everything was shut down. Literally, we were like a week away from starting pre-production in Hawaii. Like that's how close it was. So it got put on the back burner. And then when Calls the Heart was starting up again in July, as it usually does, we film July until November. And so that took up a big amount of time when we wouldn't, we could have gone to film the movie, but couldn't because we were committed to our show. And so then this was kind of our first window of opportunity where we could get away and we could film it. And <clears throat> I was saying right up until I'd say a week before we were leaving, I was still like, okay, it's looking like we're going to go, I guess. I don't know. I think I was, I just think I was gun shy on the whole thing because we had come so close the last time and then it fell apart. And so this time I was almost like so cautious, cautiously, cautiously optimistic about the whole thing. And I don't think it was until we were on the plane that I was like, oh, Kevin, we're doing this. We're actually doing this. It's happening. And then we didn't know our director or um, our producer, John Putch and Jen Aspen. Uh, and so that was a big unknown. That's a very intimate relationship, especially when it's a project that you've created yourself. And we thought, oh, you know, this, who knows what this director is going to be like? Who knows what this producer is going to be like? And uh, they were amazing. And so the whole experience, the crew in Hawaii was top notch. Our director and producer were amazing. Kevin and I had so much fun with the scenes and the story. It was truly like a pinch me moment filming this movie. It just... I couldn't believe it was happening. Every single day we were there, I just couldn't believe that we were actually happening. It was happening. And then just on the weekend, I got the, the locked cut of the movie. Now, it, there are some things that in editing that still need to happen and sound that still need to happen, but it, the locked cut of it, and I watched it on the weekend and Kevin and I, we were watching at the same time at our homes and we were texting each other the whole time. We were both so pleased so pleased, so excited with how it turned out. It's a really, really fun and funny movie.